My name is Vince Cerf. I'm Vice President of Google and Google's Chief Internet Evangelist. About 50 years ago, my colleague Robert Kahn and I and a number of other people started to work on the problem of getting computers to talk to each other, and that meant designing and building networks. We developed something called ARPANET. Interconnect each of the computers to each other to form a fully connected network. On the basis of the success of the ARPANET, we developed a multiple network system that connect computers all over the world called the Internet. The most interesting thing about the Internet today is that it covers the entire globe. About half of the world's population is online, but some of us who have been working on deep space communication ask the question, what would it take to build a network that would span the entire solar system in order to support manned and robotic space exploration? Many people ask us, why would you build an interplanetary internet? Are you thinking that aliens will show up and they need the network to communicate with you? Well, no, but the honest truth is humans are leaving the planet. We've been sending spacecraft out to many of the planets and asteroids and other parts of our immediate solar system. We've already been to the moon. We're going back to the moon in 2024, and in 2030 or thereabouts, we will make our first human visit to planet Mars. In order to get the data back, and in order to tell the spacecraft what to do, we have to communicate. We looked at the internet and we thought we could use it that way and we discovered very quickly that the speed of light is too slow. We had to develop a new set of protocols that deal with variable delay and disruption because of planetary rotation and uh, celestial motion. So the interplanetary internet has harder problems to solve than the terrestrial one does, but it used very similar kinds of techniques. It uses radio. It does not use optical fiber. We're not going to string an optical fiber between planet Earth and the Moon or Mars or anything else. So we have to use radio, or we may actually use lasers to give us higher speed. As you know, if you're using the Internet today, rich connectivity creates resilience, and that is what we are after with the interplanetary system, a resilient and interplanetary scale communication system to support manned and robotic space exploration. Today we have an interplanetary system starting to operate on the International Space Station, on planet Earth, and on planet Mars.